And then this is a piece of leaf spring that I am trying to turn into kind of a nata, Japanese nata bill hook. Put in that fishtail that's heated up right now is kind of, I'm gonna attempt a integral socket handle. So here's the fishtail on the nata. I'm pretty happy with it, you know. I've been working on this socket handle and it's actually turning out really awesome. I mean, if I say so myself. I mean, for the first time I've ever done one of these, that is pretty sweet. I, I'm very, very happy. I mean, there's a little bit of a crack there. Do you see that? But, I mean, I forged the hell out of it. So, and I probably forged it a little bit too cold. But there's the, so it's a single bevel. The way these are supposed to work, it's a single bevel. And I have this one set up for myself, so it's a righty. Um, so, what a fun thing, you know? I mean, I think that was really neat. I mean, it just kind of, I mean, it kind of does it on its own. Once you flatten it out, and if you get the curl started and you just take it easy it just kind of happened okay and then i've just been grinding down the bevel and cleaning up you know the edges and everything uh and i think it's getting pretty close to where i want to uh heat treat it actually i'm gonna maybe do a little sanding on the bevel just to get some of these marks and then i still want to clean up this area here because I think this is going to be a spot where my finger is going to want to rest. And so I don't really want some of the... This is a little jagged. And then this butt end I need to clean up. So I'm going to take off this uh, twine and throw that out. Because it's not... I don't want to use the green. I'm going to use some of that tan twine. And I also I want to make a new braid. And maybe burn all these little fuzzies off before I wrap the thing with like a propane torch or something. Um, and then, yeah, I went out and bought some canola oil and a paint can, and I'm gonna try and quench in the oil. Um, this just barely will immerse in the paint can. So uh, that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure what all these dudes who are uh, doing swords use, but um, this I expect will be the by far the largest knife blade I'll ever do if I, I mean, this isn't exactly a knife. I consider this more of a, a bill hook. You know, this is a chopping uh, wood and forestry chopping tool. I am not interested in like the zombie uh, combat tactical crap. Sorry if that's what you're into. I don't. I don't really have a overwhelming need to kill someone, you know. And uh, at least here in the Northeast, zombies are not really a serious serious issue, you know. We have a big problem with leprechauns. We did some more work on it. Cleaned up the edge down here. Actually, took off a little bit more than I wanted to, but c'est la vie. Um, and then sort of sanded off some of the worst angle grinder marks and got a little bit more of the pitting off the underside. This was actually the worst side of the spring for pitting, and I probably should have used this as the upper side, but hey, that's what happens and sort of took all the really jaggedy pieces off of here. So now you can make the Ford sound like a choo-choo train.
So I'm trying to heat up the quench oil. It's quite hot up at the top, but it's rather still cool down at the bottom. I, you know, maybe I need like a quench oil spatula to like stir, get the temperatures more evenly. Whatever. I'm I'm done messing with this quench oil business. Here we go. Looks like a lot of the forge scale popped off the knife in the quench. Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't see how it affects performance really. Shouldn't, so I'm not going to worry about it. Because it makes it look less tactical. It's like all of that dark Ford scale came loose in the oil quench. So that makes me think it must have changed size, right, dramatically to like pop that scale loose. This is tempered and there's kind of a range of the temper colors. And I haven't really been able to figure out if that means that because this if this blue is going to be soft or what. Um, because I had it in the oven for like two hours at 425 Fahrenheit. Um. Anyway, if it's too soft, we'll just deal with it. I mean, you can always just re. Uh, do the whole thing over um, but it's a there's you know conflicting information on the internet surprise surprise so now I'm gonna try and wrap the handle with this uh, braid of hay twine this instead basically have that so this I'll use to pull back through um, so starting here And I braided this and then I, I did burn it with the torch and there's still some bristles so I might hit it with the torch again lightly after it's all done just to take them off again. But it's, you know, it's a lot less hairy than the straight twine is normally. Um, So then I tried to do kind of like a modified paracord cordy wrap-ish type thing right here at the butt to try and um, hold it on a little better. Um, let's see if we're going to have enough.
because the way I forged the very end of this flare is a little wonky versus like someone who actually knew what they were doing. Um, and uh, so it has a little bit of a tendency to slip off. So I think what I want is I need a little bit of slack right there to take this through here. And then it's kind of like a whip finish where you you thread this in and I have a hesitation about this And then that So that's what we have right there. And I don't know if that's right or if that's going to work, but if this is a right-handed thing, that seems to, but see, it looks like this might want to slip off here. So I may have to redo this a few times before I figure out the best technique for but this is easy because this is hay twine. I have like 400 pounds of that sitting in my barn and you can just retie this a million times. So if I, if I don't get it right this time, which I don't think this is quite what I want right here down at the base. Um, I'm trying to figure out some way to like just do a plain wrap on the main body of the handle and then have some kind of knotting to keep these secure down here at the butt given the way my flare is kind of wonky so or at the butt so but otherwise that's pretty nice you know so yeah So that's pretty much the finished bill hook, not I would say.